Granville Taylor Woods was born April 23, 1856, in Columbus, Ohio. Son of Martha J. Brown and Cyrus Woods. Living during the time of intense racial discrimination, Woods and his siblings and parents were free. Woods was forced to leave school at 10 years old and began to work as a machinist and blacksmith in a machine shop. Woods' lifelong interest in education mostly self-taught and by watching others in electrical and engineering began in this machine shop. He used his own earnings to pay the master mechanics of the shop for private instruction. He learned more and his increased knowledge gained him more skilled positions. At the age of 16, Woods was one of the youngest railway engineers in America. He worked various jobs, at the Iron Mountain Railroad in Missouri as a fireman, and later an engineer, Springfield, Illinois in a rolling mill, as an engineer aboard the British steamer Ironsides, ran a steam locomotive on the Danville and Southern Railroad in Cincinnati, Ohio. Unfortunately Woods was often denied opportunities due to the color of his skin. In 1884 Woods was granted a patent for a steam boiler furnace. That same year Woods along with his brother Lance opened the Woods Electric Company in Cincinnati, Ohio to produce and market his own inventions. In 1884 Woods was granted a patent for an improved telephone transmitter. The device combined the telephone and telegraph. It was louder and clearer from long distance. The device was so successful that Woods later sold it to the American Bell Telephone Company. In 1887, Woods filed a patent for his induction telegraph system This allowed messages to be sent to and from moving trains, enabling train conductors and engineers to avoid collision and report hazard on tracks ahead. Woods' invention suspended a coil beneath the train, so that as it moved along the rails a magnetic field would be created around it, allowing messages to be sent uninterrupted. However Thomas Edison and other inventors claimed this invention, they took Woods to court but he warned as the prior inventor. Edison later offered him a job but Woods turned him down, preferring to work on his own. Woods got married to Loretta but a year later she filed for divorce. He had a son named Jake Woods. Woods also invented the first electric railway that was powered with electric lines from above. The trolley provided constant contact between the rail and the power wires transmitting power from the overhead catenary wire to the moving or standing rail vehicle. Woods later invented an innovative method by removing the moving wire rope and pulleys and installing electrical contactor rails. This was the first system to use rails instead of wires. Woods originally designed it for trains but later modified it to power an amusement ride known as the figure eight roller coaster an invention he first demonstrated at Coney Island. In 1901 Granville Taylor Woods invented the third rail this allowed for underground train operation, this type of power distribution system was implemented on the subway, the metro and rapid transit line around the world to this day. Granville Woods also received a patent for an improved air brake system for trains. Woods received over 60 patents in the course of his life, 15 of the patents were for electric railways. Sadly Granville T. Woods died in 1910 in New York City. He sold a number of his devices to industrial giants as Westinghouse, General Electric, and American Engineering. He sold his patents recognizing the difficulty of marketing African-American invention during that time. Decades later, many of his other patents have been assigned to major manufacturers of electrical equipment that play a substantial role in daily life. Granville T. Wood's legacy continues on as one of the most prolific inventors of all time. In 1969 elementary public school in Brooklyn, New York was dedicated in Granville T. Woods' name. In 2004, during the New York City subway centennial year, commemorative Metro cards stated that Woods made subway travel possible. In 2006 Granville Woods was inducted into the National Hall of Fame. On April 2008, the corner of Stillwell and Mermaid Avenues in Coney Island, Brooklyn, New York was named Granville T. Woods Way.